Hey, Floss Turtle here. I am back in Russell, Massachusetts, Westfield, Massachusetts, right kind of on the border-ish. And I'm back for part five of the Strathmore Paper Mill. So we're going to go in here, we're going to check out, see what some of the stuff we missed in the last four parts of this amazing video series. See you in a few. There it is. The old Strathmore chimney. Never got to see it from this side before. Coming in the back way. There's a stair metal stairwell. I would say a stairwell nowhere, but it does go to that building over there. Which we will check out. You got the muscle looking down the hole. Anything interesting in there? Anything fell down this and anything on the Let's take a look. Wow. There's an entrance right there. Open door. Look at that valve. Check out this old hand truck. I don't even think they make them like this anymore. It's almost it's solid metal. Well, this is how we're getting in. But I wanted to point out this. I don't see this hole right there? The broken off chunk? Doesn't that look like a skull? Oh, that's always a nice sign to see. Look at this place. Kind of flooded. It's a cool pillar. Let's go upstairs, though. Let's go hey, J and M. If you're gonna come here, see that broken glass all over the place. So wear some decent shoes, no flip flops. Check this out. This exit sign is glow in the dark. What's up, girl? Turn the light down. Put the light off. Check out this exit sign. It glows in the dark. Oh, does it? Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. And if you want to play graffiti tag, we found some racist stuff. No, no graffiti tag today. And so, and a dirty word. <laughs> You're not recording, right? Yeah. Just, hold on, stop, stop. Let's start this whole video. Look at that old roll. And this old fan. If I dare to walk on this floor, I can see what's in there. Ooh, careful, careful. Look at that. Hey, oh. Hey, you gonna fix that core? Uh -huh. you gonna fix that core, man? Look at that. Look at the paper. Okay, after all these years. Hmm. Take a look at this. This looks like maybe they were my company where I work for as competition. <laughs> look at all these old rolls, man. We got, this looks like brown bag cardboard paper. This looks like the kind of stuff that they would wrap on the old seats where it's textured. I mean, they made everything here. Yeah, all different colors. Wonderful find a uh, printing machine. A printing press. There's some paper back there. Yeah.
Well, we definitely found a storage area, but there's more to see. So let's go see some more interesting stuff than paper. Gotta be careful in this place. There are holes in the ground. Check out this stairwell. I'm about to go up this. Some kind of cutter. Look at this. The belts are still good. Look at that gear. Still greased up. And look at this, man. Some kind of label or something. It's still hooked up. They didn't even tear it down. There's another one here. The paper is still on the roll. Okay, it'd be hard to get out of if you fell. In there. Oh my god, that's scary. Oh, there's stuff down there. Maybe you could pack it up. Yeah, you'd have to. I don't know about moving that roll though. You'd have to. Those are heavy. You'd have to. It'd be your only chance. <laughs> yep. Stand it up, get on top, maybe put that filing cabinet on. Try to get out and hope you don't fall again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place. It's amazing. These machines are incredible. Look at this chain. Oh my god. Look how big it is, the links are. Look at that thing. Now that's some nice chrome right there. Yeah, it is. That's a nice piece of chrome. I bet that's worth a pretty penny. But that's besides the point. That is one confined space. I wouldn't want to fall down there because it would be pretty hard to get out. So when you're in places like this, right, Turtle? Definitely. Be safe. Definitely do. Look at all this one. I would imagine this is the recycling room because there's a bunch of you can just see all the bales of paper. Yeah. It looks like there's, there's hundreds of them because it goes all, all the way down. Goldfish crackers. Huh. All this stuff just sitting here. Just Pizza away. flavored. Look at this. You got an old roll. Flavor this blast. Green paper. Look at that. These old rolls. Broke. Broke? Get this. Glitter confetti. Look at this thing. Just a labyrinth of old, unused, un done anything with paper. Got some construction paper over here. Well, you knew I'd find one. And I did. A stairwell to nowhere. Climb up this thing. And then just fall. Check this out. Found an old nip roller. This is a part of a print and press. 
It's rubber. There's some amazing old equipment here. Look at this old drill press. Still got the chuck key in the chuck. Do that. Oh, Walker Turner Company. Got that that way. Ooh. Look at that. Put that in there. And uh, that way you always know where your key is to your chuck. That respirator. I should have one of these on. <laughs> Check this out. See what else is here. There's a lot of old equipment. Lamps. Holy cow. There's a lamp in there. Suspenders. <laughs> Look at this old machine. Electric screw. Looks like an air compressor. This machinery is incredible. Oh, look at this scale. This is just incredible. Oh, here's an old lathe. The tail stock. Hey, cassette. Happy Holidays, Volume 37. Those wonderful years. Wow. Look at this paper. A and P. I haven't seen an a &P in years. 2002. 16 years ago. Look at this Gatorade bottle. Look at this glass. Huh. Equipment here is incredible. A milling machine. Oh, they took the yeah. Old milling machine. This is not a Bridgeport. It's the same kind of machine. This is a mower. Bridgeport, Connecticut, though. Whew. Unbelievable. I just look at this stuff. Tree. I could just look at this stuff for hours. <clears throat> A little tool rack with the lazy Susan. This is just unbelievable, man. So much to see. Safety is definitely worth your life. So the muscle bought this brought this strobe light. I want to see what the effect would look like on camera. So you get to witness it too.
Kind of looks like rolling film. Pretty neat. Look at that safety recognition. One million safe working hours. Three years, no lost days. May 18th, 1996. Look at that old tricycle. Wow. That is cool. These old equipment, man. Right there on the wall, that's a diagram of how to web up your press. Well, that one looks complicated. Look at this old, I don't know what it is. Something to do with print. Got a lot of buttons on it though, like telephone buttons. <clears throat> Look at this machine on this old desk. Hey Stifler, check this out. It's an old digital Temperature thermometer. This thing is extinct. There's something from my earlier days as a machinist. Oh, and there's a heart for graffiti tag. It's an old Bridgeport milling machine. I worked for my grandfather back in the day. He had two of these. This is the old kind with the got the uh, straps and the pulleys to change the speed. Some of them had a cranky gear to change them. Surprised there's not a wrench up on, right up on the top there. So here, if you go around, this thing right here also reminds me of my grandfather. He loved horse racing. And he especially loved harness racing. And that is an old shoop for harness racing. Here, it's something I definitely did not expect to see. Look at that. Terracotta bears. Porcelain. That is odd. And that's kind of creepy. I mean, it's paint ink, but it looks like blood. There's a trail. Follow the trail. Leads into here. Yeah, gold boxes. All kinds of stuff in here, man. Hey, damsel and stardust. Check out what I found. You could have a blast with this stuff. Do it again. Containers are filled with glitter, or maybe stardust. Oh. Go up here, check out, see what's that. Well, look at that. I guess it's a stairwell to nowhere, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to nowhere. I guess we won't be seeing what's up there. <laughs> This is steep.